quadratic modeling, revenue problems. One airline ticket costs $250. For each additional airline ticket sold to a group, the price of each of the tickets is reduced by $2. For example, two tickets cost two times $248 or $496, and three tickets cost three times $246 or $738. What we're going to do is create a quadratic model that gives the total cost of buying X tickets. Then we will use that model to find out how many tickets were sold if the total cost was $5,200. And then we'll use the model to find what number of tickets sold results in the greatest cost. To start us out, let's remember that X stands for the number of tickets. So X minus one is the number of reductions because it doesn't include for the first ticket. So that means 2 times x minus 1, or 2x minus 2, that's the total reduction for each individual ticket. So the individual tickets now cost 250 minus 2x minus 2, or 252 minus 2x. That stands for the cost per ticket. So for the group, which is buying x ticket, the cost function, c of x, will equal the number of tickets times the cost of each individual ticket. This comes out to be 252x minus 2x squared. I'm just going to put that up here. C of x equals 252x minus 2x squared. In order to answer the next two parts of this problem, I'm going to move over to the calculator. So first, I'm going to set up the calculator. I'm going to enter into the function that we, we discovered earlier that gives the total revenue for X tickets sold. Then I need to set a window. Now, I've done this problem before, so I know that negative 20 for an X minimum followed by 150 for an X maximum and the x scale of 10, that works for the x for the y, negative 5,000 for a minimum, 15,000 for a maximum, and a y scale of negative, of negative, why would I make it negative? A y scale of 5,000 works. And if we take a look at the graph, you'll see we've got a nice picture where we can see the x-intercepts and the vertex and a bunch of other stuff. Now the part B asked for if we spent 1,000, no, no, $5,200, how many tickets would that be? So I'm going to answer the equation y equals $5,200 into this and then take a look at the graph. And you notice, huh, here is one place, so many tickets equals 5,200. And here is another place where so many tickets equal 5,200. <coughs> so we need to find where that is. Second, calc will do it for us. And we'll go to option number five, where they intersect. Is this a good first curve? Is this one of the curves I want to use for my intersection? Yes. Is this a good second curve? Yes. Now the guess is important in this case because there are two choices. So I'm putting it here and I notice I have a result of 26 tickets sold cost $5,200. 
$5,200. So at least part of the answer for part B was 26 tickets cost $5,200. The other answer to part B will be the other point of intersection, second calc five. Is that a good first curve? Yes, it is. Enter. Is that a good second curve? Yes, it is. Enter. And again, it is important that I put the cursor on the point of intersection for the guess, and we get a second answer. A hundred tickets also cost $5,200. Updating my score sheet, a hundred tickets cost $5,200. Now on to the final part. We need to go and find which number of tickets maximizes the cost. So that would be finding the vertex. Second calc maximum, option number four. Left bound, put the cursor somewhere to the left of the maximum, enter. Right bound, put the cursor somewhere to the right of the maximum, enter. Guess, put it right where you think it looks like it is, and we get an answer of 63. That point nine 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 one is close enough to a whole number, so 63 tickets will give a cost of $7,938. So for part C, we found that 63 tickets maximize the cost. Now it's your turn. The Atlas Fireworks Factory sells the red, white, and kaboom fireworks cake for 75 bucks. Records show that on an average week, 500 cakes are sold. Management figures that for each $5 increase in price, they will sell le 12 less each week. So let X be the number of $5 increases in the unit price. Find P of X, a function describing the price in terms of X. N of X, a function describing the number of cakes sold in a week in terms of X. R of X, a function describing the revenue in terms of X. And then finally find the price, the number of cakes sold, and the revenue for that value of x which maximizes the revenue. Good luck with it. Ciao for now.